Hey, it's Mila. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, today is gonna be a good one. So, as you can see in the title, we're gonna do something that I've never done um, on my channel. If you're in my personal life or you've seen my videos, like I have made some like referencing Taylor Swift. So, obviously, I'm a Taylor Swift fan. Oh my god, I really wanted to wear Taylor Swift merch for this video, but I do not have. And my friends who have aren't in town. So, just going with like something NASA has nothing to do with Taylor Swift, but I, I just, I didn't have a top. But yeah, so if you're new here, my name is Mila. I make everything from college, lifestyle, and bookish type content. So if that sounds fun, definitely hit the subscribe button. So, you know, you're updated every single time that I post. Um, All my socials are down below if you want to go, like, check me out. I don't really post that much on TikTok, but I've, like, started to come up with a few content ideas. So definitely go follow my TikTok because we're going to be bringing you things for the entire summer. My Instagram, I post my stories super, super often. I'm a good read, so you can see, like, what books I'm reading and stuff like that. Um, But yeah, so now that all that boring, like, intro things are done let's get into this video so we are ranking every single taylor swift song ever i wanted to bring this video out in like february but i was like wait till the torture post department comes out like yeah just just wait because you're gonna want like because if you had filmed this before you'd be so mad that you didn't wait until it came out ideally I would have waited until reputation came out so i have like the Taylor's version, like, vault songs, but I just, I, no, I'm, I'm just too impatient. <laughs> I know, like, people do a lot of rankings on there. Oh my god, my, <laughs> my iPad is at 17%. Basically, what I was trying to say is that I know a lot of people do these rankings on their laptops, but I figured we're gonna do it on my iPad because it's, like, easier to move around. Um, obviously, now that it's, like, charging, not really. Let me start the screen recording. Oh, my God. Watch me, like, film this video and then realize I did not screen record it properly and have to refilm the entire video. But, no, we have... <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. I just put a little AirPod in so I can play the songs in my head to kind of, like, you know, help me think on how I'm gonna describe my ranking. Where is... We're gonna... We're, like, we're going in a chronological order. I was gonna make my own, like, tier ranking thing, but then I found someone who made it, and I'm like, perfect. This has a few songs that aren't from our albums. It's like Christmas songs or stuff like that. Those I'm not gonna rank. I just... I got way too lazy to redo it myself without those songs, and then also I could not find a way to, like, remove those songs but keep like all the ones that i want so we're just gonna ignore that when we get to that point let's start the screen recording how do i screen record on my ipad <laughs> okay we have it we have it perfect i am really praying that this is gonna look good when i pop it up over here if not i'm like actually gonna cry let me just like talk to you about my ranking system so i kind of wanted the tears to like reference taylor swift songs so at the top we have i'll marry you with paper rings these are the songs that are just like absolute perfection i've been obsessed with them for years and i know i'm still gonna be obsessed with them for like years these are like god tier taylor swift songs like chef's kiss does not get better than that. After that, we have Never Go Out of Style. So these are the songs that it's not an iconic, perfect song. It's like, it's it's a good song, but it's not got tier. It's like almost got tier, but it's still like, it's it's just, it's missing a little something. It's still perfect, but it's not got tier. That's what I'm thinking with that. Um, Then after that, we have Better Than Revenge. Th these are just like good songs, you know? Revenge, it feels good, it tastes sweet, but these are like Better Than Revenge. These are like really, really good songs. After that, we have Sweet Nothing. So these are just like good songs. Like we're very, we, like there's no strong feelings. Like I'll listen to it. Some days I might feel it, some days I might not. Like that's, it's just like very like average good songs. After that, we have At Least I'm Trying. Not my favorite but I'll still listen to it, you know? Like, it's not bad, but, like, I'm trying to get the hype or trying to, like, I'm I'm just trying. Then we have I Forgot That You Existed. So these are, like, meh songs. Like, oh, yeah, this, this song still exists. It's not, like, a bad song. It's just, like, whatever song. Then lastly, we have Left You At The Motel Bar. These are, like, automatic skip not my vibe don't really like it so yeah i figured like it'll be fun to kind of like have these taylor swift references we're gonna start with the first album taylor swift this came out when i was like a child like a kid kid i was a baby so okay tim mcgraw where will i put tim mcgraw i don't feel like it's at least i'm trying because i do feel like it's it's a good song i'm thinking sweet nothing it's just like a song that you're very average about you're not obsessed with you don't love it but it's not a bad song yeah tim mcgraw i think i'm gonna put it to 
Sweet nothing. Picture to burn. Hum. I think pictures to burn, I'll put it in. At least I'm trying. It's not what I would go to, you know? I feel like this entire album, it's more like country, just like older songs. Not like totally my vibe. Like when I think Taylor Swift, I do not think this album. I feel like picture to burn, it's gonna be at least I'm trying. Teardrops on my guitar. I feel like this would be better than Revenge. Oh my God, actually I heard this song like maybe a year ago and I was like, oh my god, this song sounds so familiar. Then I was like, wait, it's Taylor Swift? Like, I grew up listening to this song on the radio. And then I was like, it just popped in my head last year that this is Taylor Swift. Better than Revenge, because like, I feel like it is a classic. It's a never go out of style, but it's not as classic as other songs. So I feel like Better Than Revenge is like a very good category for Tears Off to My Guitar. So I'm actually listening to the album like in order and I messed up with the order of Stay Beautiful and A Place in This World. I feel like A Place in This World, it's also something that I would like put in my playlist, but if it comes on and I'm in that mood, then it's a vibe. Like this is giving me like road trip vibes, but I wouldn't like listen to it in traffic, you know, if that makes sense. So I don't know if I want to put this in at least I'm trying or I forgot that you existed. I feel like A Place in This World because I like i do know what vibe this is i can picture the vibe i feel like i'll put it in at least i'm trying that makes sense i'm trying not to go into my spotify so we're just going with what comes in my ear so cold as you i feel like it kind of gives the same vibe as a place in this world like it's a very particular time that i can listen to this song and it just works it doesn't have that extra oomph that a place in this world has so cold as you i'm gonna put it in i forgot that you existed okay the outside where will we put you i'm undecided between i forgot that you existed and at least i'm trying i feel like uh i don't know now i feel like it's at least i'm trying i like the beat better it's more like upbeat it's just a little better vibes than cold as you tied together with a smile i don't know what it is about the song but do you guys remember the Hannah Montana movie? Like, I don't know if it's just because it's, like, super country, but this gives me, like, Hannah Montana movie vibes. When there is Miley, and then I think the guy's name is Travis. It's just, I don't know, like, I listen to the song and I picture that, but I feel like Tight Together with a Smile, I'm gonna put it in, I would have put it in and left to at the Motel Bar, but it does bring me back to that movie, and that was an iconic movie. The last time I watched it, I was probably, like, 13. I watched, I watched it in the movie theater when I was like 12 or 10, whenever, or like probably younger than that. I was probably like eight when it came out. It's really just because of that association, but I could see myself listening. Ugh, I feel like I'm putting in at least I'm trying. I don't know. Oh my God, this is actually so much harder than I expected. Yeah, I'm happy with having it in at least I'm trying. Stay beautiful, I'll put it in left you at the Motel Bar. It's too country, but in a bad way, if that makes sense. Not for me, and I would not see myself listening to it during like a road trip or something like that. And it doesn't really give me like movie scene vibes. So, left you at the motel bar. Should have said no. This is like the hardest album to play is because it's such old Taylor Swift, but it's not like the old Taylor Swift that we know that we grew up on, you know? So, I feel like after this, it's gonna become easier. Yeah, when we get to Fearless, I feel like it's gonna become easier to rank. Like, it's kind of giving me, um, before he cheats, not kind of like you wanna scream it, like before he cheats. So I feel like just because of that, I'll put it in. I forgot that you existed, but it's not something that I would listen to. It's just like, I can like scream this in my car. I, I don't know if this is making sense, but I feel like people are going to understand what I mean. It's just like, I feel like it's, I forgot that you existed energy. Mary's song gives me Hannah Montana energy also. I'll put it in Sweet no Oh, oops, wrong song. Where did you come from, Superstar? Yeah, Sweet Nothing, because it's just like, it's a nostalgic feeling and it's cute. So yeah, this is this is sweet nothing. Our song, where do we want to put our song? I forgot that you existed because I know a lot of people like it. Like me, it's not, I don't find it bad. It's just not my, ah, uh, it's no, like it's, uh, I, I, I can't put it into words, but I feel like it's more I forgot that you existed than at least I'm trying. I'm only me when I'm with you. A lot of these give Hannah Montana energy. I'm only me when I'm with you. I'm going to put in... I feel like this is at least I'm trying. Like, I'm undecided between Sweet Nothing and at least I'm trying, but I feel like I'm leaning more towards at least I'm trying. You know what? Never mind. Sweet Nothing is going in, in Sweet Nothing because I feel like I'm going to come back and be like, you know, you should have put it into Sweet Nothing. So just automatically putting it into Sweet Nothing. Sweet Nothing I like. Invisible. I left you at the motel bar. Like, mm -hmm, not my, just, I don't know, like, not a huge fan of it. Would not listen to it. If it comes on, I'd skip it. 
left field than most of our okay last song and taylor swift a perfectly good heart where are we putting you you feel things while listening to the songs even though it's not my fave i'll put it in i forgot that you existed i can't really give more of an explanation but i feel like that's where it fits and i like it there so taylor swift is done these are all the songs on the album now let's go to fearless okay i just switched my music so it's on fearless right now the song Fearless. Ah, where do I put it? I don't know if it's I'll marry you with paper rings or never go out of style. Ah, this is hard. I'm like more stressed ranking this song than I was taking my finals like two months ago. Fearless is gonna go. I feel like never go out of style. Hear me out here. It's perfect. Such a good song. But I feel like, you know, I'll leave it here for now. Then at the end of this video, I'll see if I want to move it but it's giving never got a style 15 so 15 kind of like has a special meaning for me because i met this guy and we literally like we clicked so instantly and i was like shocked by how instantly we clicked because i've never just experienced like that much chemistry with someone like had that connection with someone who i had just met and we actually started talking about taylor swift and he said his favorite song was 15 we had each other's names in our phones under like Taylor Swift references. So my favorite like era um, is 1989. So that's what I was called in his phone. His favorite song was 15. So he was called 15 in my phone. Like, even though that ended, it was never my favorite song. It was never like a song that I really enjoyed, but just cause of the memories of him and like, like for what I experienced and for what like I learned about myself for my gratitude of all those experiences that this song like reminds me of. It's like, it's not even like, it's not even what the song talks about. It's just like, the association in my brain with the song 15, I'll put it as better than revenge because he honestly changed the song for the rest of my life. This is like a super long and personal explanation, but I'm putting it in better than revenge because of that like story that I have with it. Love story, I'll marry you with paper rings. My mom had the Fearless album back, my mom, back when I was a kid. I was obsessed with it since she played it for the first time in the car. But this album came out, what, maybe 2009? So I was like eight. Or maybe, I don't know, like I feel like I was between six and eight when this album came out. And I'm currently 23 years old. <laughs> this has been one of my favorite songs since forever. Like, this is why I said Fearless doesn't give like god tier i'll marry you with paper rings so hey steven hey steven it's it's a cute song but it was never a song that i really gravitated towards like it didn't have like anything like significant for me like it's not a bad song but i would not really listen to it oh, i don't know i feel like i'll put it in at least i'm trying because i can understand the hype but it's also not a me song I feel like it's not, I forgot that you existed because I do, like, it's not bad. But yeah, it's not sweet nothing either. So at least I'm trying. Who's like the perfect in-between to put it? White Horse. I'll put it in, I forgot that you existed because I feel like you have to be in that mood or it's like a rainy day. You, like, you're, if you're in a happy mood, you're not going to listen to this, you know? So it's like a very specific mood, but it's not an automatic skip if I'm in that mood. Okay, you belong with me. This is also like, I'll marry you with paper rings. Like, again, I heard this the first time when I was literally an infant. Like, I was going to primary school. I'm 23 now. If this song came out, like now there would be like so much criticism because it's super like oh like this is why i'm so much better than, than this other girl like she's like that like the typical girl i'm like not it's like kind of like pick me energy but it's just it's such a classic like it's such a classic song and whenever it comes on i belt it in the car you belong with me i'll marry you with paper rings god tier taylor swift where's breathe yeah i really mess up the order of these songs i feel like i'm undecided between at least i'm trying and i forgot that you existed i feel like it's sweet nothing i can't explain it in words but comparing it to Tim McGraw, Mary song, and I'm only me when I'm with you, it fits that vibe. To me, it makes sense. So that's all that matters. That's where we're going to put it. Tell me why. We're putting it in. I forgot that you existed. Like I will. It's not an automatic skip. It's pretty country compared to the other songs in this album. So I feel like that's why it's like lower. But it's not an automatic skip. So we're putting in I Forgot That You Existed. Next we have You're Not Sorry. I feel like this is I Left You On The Motel Bar. It's just 
not the best on this album nothing really distinctive about it for me it's just it's just there and it's just it's 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 not clicking it's just not the way i loved you uh this is this is better than revenge like if you're in a good mood you can scream it if you're in a bad mood you can scream it you could just scream it or whatever and it's a vibe like there's just something so perfect about it better than revenge that just describes it so well it's better than revenge forever and always i think we're gonna put you in i think at least i'm trying because it has a good beat like i like it or sweet nothing. You know what? Sweet nothing. It, it, it gives. It's just. There's just something about it. Sweet nothing. Like it's not god tier. Like it's not like amazing Taylor Swift. Like it's not go to. But it's not bad. It's just like middle. Sweet nothing. The best day gives the same energy as you're not sorry. Like there's nothing distinctive about it. Would probably skip it. Not doing it for me. So that's where we're gonna put you change i feel like if i'm in the mood for it that's the thing oh i, I don't know if it's left you at the motel bar i feel like it's more forgot that you existed because again you have to be in this mood it's not an automatic oh my god it's not an automatic skip but if in, in that mood it fits jump then fall for me it's left you at the motel bar i feel like a lot of these songs are very similar in the sense that like it depends on the vibe but this one, it's like, it just does not depend on the vibe. It's just like a no for me. I'm sorry if you, again, I'm sorry if I left you at the motel bar, like those songs to talk that you really like. It's just like, it's not doing it for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Untouchable for me, it's also left you at the motel bar. It's just, it's just, I don't know. Like it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's just, it's just not doing it for me. Come in with the rain. Oh, it's also, I left you at the motel bar. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's just. I left you at the motel bar. Uh, okay, superstar. I feel like superstar. I left you at the motel bar. The other side of the door left you at the motel bar. Today was a fairy tale. I feel like today was a fairy tale. Put in, I forgot that you existed. Sorry, I probably should have like thought this through before turning on my camera. I'm just like going through a lot of processing. Like this is actually so hard. Please sit down, try to write these yourself, and you're gonna see how hard it is. Cause th this this takes a lot of brain power, and I have not used my brain since my last final. My last final was a fluid mechanics final. So obviously my my brain has been like, let's not connect neurons at all so i'm sorry it's it's just it's it takes time for my brain to do things you all over me left you at the motel bar i'm sorry left you at the motel bar not really the vibes mr perfectly fine is it better than revenge or sweet nothing i really like it but i feel like it's not better than revenge like it feels like other songs are more suited for better than revenge than mr perfectly fine but i also really like mr no okay sweet nothing because, yeah, like, if you compare Mr. Perfectly Fine to The Way I Loved You, there's, like, a difference. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there's a difference. That's one. Also, Sweet Nothing. There's just something. It's just, like, there's just something there. <laughs> we were happy. We were happy. Left. Oh, oh, um, excuse you. We were happy left you at the motel bar it's 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 not doing it for me don't you where are we putting you don't you want to put in at least i'm trying i feel like i'm definitely more into her songs and are more poppy than country and don't you it's just like it's slow ballad like a little poppy it's just i don't know like i feel like listening to it also makes it harder because it's based off what i know about the song and then my like current experience listening to it but i feel like at least i'm trying is a very solid spot to put it last song from fearless bye bye baby i'm sorry guys i left you at the motel bar it's just... but i mean also i feel like as we progress with the years her albums do get better i feel like the album fearless like it's getting into like iconic taylor swift era like i feel like iconic taylor swift it's fearless speak now red and then 1989 those are like iconic when you think taylor Swift, that's what you think of the fearless album it's very like there are these some that i love others i'm like very like neutral about speak now i feel like it's more that i love and then from red and 1989 it's just like everything is just like so perfect so i feel like now that we're getting to iconic taylor era we're gonna have more things higher ranked i think so <laughs> so speak now okay let's go we have mine is it i'll marry you with paper rings or never go out of style mine i'm gonna put it in i'll marry you with paper rings because it's an absolute classic and then oh my god the bridge 
One thing that Taylor knows how to do is bridges. This was the first thing that I actually realized just how magical her bridges are. Like, yeah, obviously I knew like Love Story before, but it never processed in my head. This is like literally a masterpiece until mine. So mine, I'll marry you with paper rings. Sparks Fly. I feel like Sparks Fly, it's sweet nothing because it's a cute song. It's a good song, but it's very like just average and good, you know? Like it's not good towards God tier, but it's not good towards bad. It's just like very good. So that's where we're going to put it. Back to December. Ah, back to December. Oh my God. I'll marry with paper rings. There's just something about that song. It's just, it's absolute perfection absolute perfection like it's just perfection <laughs> speak now speak now honestly I I, I I don't really like it like I'm sorry I just I I'm, so, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry um then we have dear John dear John also left you at the motel bar <laughs> just no mean also i'm sorry girls that left you at the motel door yeah it's just hmm, no the story of us better than revenge it's, it's just is better than revenge you know like i i remember the first time i heard this i was i was making a tiktok back in like 2021 i forgot about the song and then when uh sparks fly came out I was like, no, Speak Now. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. When Speak Now came out, I was like, oh my God, this song. And then it just connected something. It's literally better than Revenge. <laughs> That's where it's gonna go. Never Grow Up. Huh. Never Grow Up. I feel like it's also left you at the motel bar. Just, it's not doing it for me. Enchanted. I'll marry you with paper rings. It's perfection. Absolute perfection god tier we love her better than revenge better than revenge goes in better than revenge it's not never go out of style because it's missing little something to be never go out of style but it's an absolute classic it's better than revenge it's just it's so good but it's not we never go out of style good if that makes sense so haunted i feel like haunt huh okay wait in a sense we'll put it in left you at the motel bar haunted I feel like I'm going to put you in, at least I'm trying, like it has a little, I don't know, but it has a little something, I feel like Haunted, Haunted goes in, at least I'm trying, Last Kiss, ah, who do I want to put you, Last Kiss, I'm going to put it in Sweet Nothings, it's nostalgic in a way, you know, it's just like a feel good thing, it's nostalgic, I feel like that nostalgic feeling makes it fit there perfectly, Long Live, Long live, it also gives me that same energy. So we're gonna put it in sweet nothing. Next we have ours. Ours, I feel like it goes in at least I'm trying. I feel like it really depends on the mood. Like it's not the same energy as last kiss, long live, and sparks fly. Like it just fits with the vibes of haunted, if that makes sense. Okay, Superman, I'll put it in. I forgot that you existed. It's it's not a bad song, but I feel like it's not again what I would gravitate towards. Like, but if it comes on, I'll still play it. But I'm not gonna actively go looking for that song. Um, electric touch. I feel like electric touch kind of gives the same energy as Superman. Once again, wouldn't go like seeking it out in the album. Wouldn't necessarily have it on my playlist, but I like I sell what enjoyed when I listen to it. When Emma falls in love, it's just like there's something like cute and wholesome about it. It's just like it's like I'm not gonna seek it out, but I generally really enjoy it. There's some kind of connection to that song. I feel like just because of the connection I have with that song, we're gonna put it into Sweet Nothings. Because I feel like the song itself, it's at least I'm trying. But there's just like something else that just connects with me. So it's like boosted up to the same place as like Last Kiss, Long Live, and Sparks Fly. I can see you. I feel like I'm undecided between Sweet Nothings and at least I'm trying. Because I feel like it's not, I, I don't know, like it's not the same energy as either of the two songs, uh, either of the categories in these two songs. No, either of the songs in these two categories. Oh my god. Uh, it's like, I feel like it's right in the middle of them. I feel like, uh, I feel like I'll put it into Sweet Nothings. 
because it's more of like that type of vibe than at least i'm trying give me a second i'm gonna like zoom out of this so we can actually see the entire ranking because i'm literally like not even i'm almost three albums done and we're running out of space already okay so we zoomed out a little bit and i feel like it's better now okay castles crumbling i feel like castles crumbling i'm gonna put it in i forgot that you existed it's like some parts of the song i like others i do not but i'll still listen to it for those parts that i like so it's not exactly a a i left you at the motel bar so that's what we're gonna keep you i feel like foolish one kind of gives the same energy so that's why we're gonna leave it also when i forgot that you existed now okay timeless where are we gonna put you timeless at first it wasn't a song that i really knew then having heard it i was like oh my god timeless we're gonna put it in sweet nothings it's just the category is like made for timeless that makes sense okay it took a little break because <laughs> i needed it but we are back let's move on to red so red it just gives me very fall vibes fall energy like, this is the album that I listen to every single fall. I don't know if there's anything from Red that I would leave at the motel bar, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. State of Grace, it's not something that I would gravitate towards in this album, but it's still a good song. I feel like I'll put it in... I forgot that you existed, because it just matches the vibe of the... Or, yeah, it matches the vibe of the songs here. So that's the place where I like it. Treacherous treacherous is such a good song treacherous oh my god treacherous it gives the same energy as fearless you know we finally have another song in never go out of style there's something so perfect about it red gives me in between better than revenge and sweet nothing so i'm really unsure where to put it but i feel like compared to the feeling that i feel when i listen to the better than revenge songs and the sweet nothing songs i feel yeah let, let's just we're gonna put it in sweet nothing that like clicks more i knew you were trouble i feel like better than revenge it's always a good song but when you're in it it's just it's just what you need 22 honestly it's an automatic skip for me i feel so bad saying that because before i really enjoyed the song as i got older it's just it's just a skip maybe because i'm older than 22 so there's not like that association but yeah we're gonna put it in left you at the motel bar i'm so sorry 22 but that's where we're leaving it all too well so we have all too well twice here we have is it i think it's four minute version and the 10 minute version so never go out of style all too well short version absolute god tier all too well 10 minute version i remember telling one of my friends you have to listen to this it's 10 minutes but it's not gonna feel like 10 minutes and they were like mila i'm not gonna listen to a song that's 10 minutes 10 minutes long and i'm like just listen to it because it's so perfect and everyone who wasn't who is not a taylor fan but who i made listen to it were like wow i will honestly listen to a three hour long all too well because it's just how the story is like one thing about taylor swift that i love even if you don't like her music i'm sure everyone can appreciate how she tells a story and how she writes how her brain works it's so fascinating to me that honestly yeah if she released like a hour long all too well version i will be there in my car like i will force myself to go places to listen to the hour long version like without a break but yeah all too well it's literally art i almost do it's giving the same energy as red like it's a good song but nothing like super particular about it so we're gonna put it in sweet nothing we're never getting back together i feel like it's just it's a classic taylor song that even though it's not a go-to i don't look look for it it just fits in sweet nothing because again it's a classic you can never go wrong with it honestly not the best song but whenever it comes on you're just like you just bring yourself to a place mentally to like sing the song if that makes sense so stay 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 i feel like stay 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 gives the same energy as state of grace like it's just there there's nothing particular about it just it's not doing it for me but it's not i left you at the motel bar so we're gonna put it in i forgot that you existed the last time some part of the song i'm like whatever but then when the chorus hits it just hits like i think that the last time is it better than revenge or sweet nothing the last time i'm gonna put it in better than revenge when it hits it hits and it's literally better than revenge so holy ground i think i'm gonna put it in at least i'm trying 
because it has something about it but it's also not at the same level as red i almost do and we're never getting back together so it's just like average but not good average just like very average like not in a bad way but just average sad beautiful tragic honestly for me that's a skip so we're putting in i left you at the motel bar the lucky one it's cute it's wholesome it perfectly fits the sweet nothing category everything has changed with ed sheeran this song screams fall i listen to it every single fall literally from september to december and i don't listen to it for the rest of the year but then it's on repeat again from september to december like it's not i'll marry you with paper rings but it's i never go out of style because it's literally every single year that i listen to it on repeat so literally it never goes out of style so starlight starlight it's it's also sweet nothing it's just it's just there it's just good like not wow not bad just good like just there but in a good way <laughs> begin again i feel like i don't know if i want to put in at least some trying or sweet nothing like it's good but it's not the same type of good as sweet nothing so we'll put you in at least i'm trying then for the moment i knew i feel like it's the exact same energy as begin again and holy ground so we will put you in at least i'm trying come back be here i feel like it's literally between sweet nothing and better than revenge but comparing the songs that are in better than revenge it just it does not hold up to those songs so i feel like it will fit in sweet nothing girl at home girl at home it's definitely sweet nothing energy it's catchy it's good i mean obviously the song like what it's talking about like whatever but it's it's like it's like it's a good song like it's a little uplift it's it's a good song <laughs> it's a good song we're at ronin ronin where am i gonna put you i feel like ronin for me is i left you at the motel bar it's not really doing much i would skip it it's i don't know it's just not it's just not for me that's all better men i feel like will put you i don't know if it's at least i'm trying or a sweet nothing looking at the songs in red that are in sweet nothing i feel like better man is not it's just not that so better man will put you in at least i'm trying nothing new i feel like nothing new it's more sweet nothing i was very rudely interrupted by sneeze babe where are we putting babe it's a little catchy but then also i wouldn't gravitate towards it i wouldn't like seek it out babe will put it and i forgot that you existed message in a bottle message in a bottle i don't think it's never go out of style i feel like it fits a bit more in better than revenge so you go right over here. I bet you think about me. I feel like it's sweet nothing. It's just very like, there's nothing distinctive about it, but it's still super good. But again, nothing wow or anything. So I feel like we'll put you in sweet nothing. Forever winter, where are we putting you? It's giving I forgot that you existed. Yeah, I for oh, oops, oops. Okay, Um. yes, forgot that you existed. Run, it's, it kind of took a while for it to grow on me, but I do really like run. Yeah, run. Okay, yeah, sweet nothing. Okay, let's make you smaller <laughs> because we are running out of room. Then the very first night, the very first night is actually a really cute song. I don't know if it's, uh, is it never got a seller better than revenge? I feel like it's never go out of style because it's just, it always, it boosts my mood. It makes me happy. Okay, we're at 1989. Album number four, uh, finally. <laughs> Welcome to New York. Where will we put you? Welcome to New York. I feel like it's giving at least i'm trying like i would listen to it in very specific circumstances and it's it's a good vibe like it's a good vibe i do skip it sometimes but it's a really good vibe so i feel like at least i'm trying blank space blank space is never go out of style it's so perfect style i'll marry you with paper rings a style it's just like you it's it just boosts my mood it comes on and instantly boosts my mood it's probably one of my favorite taylor swift songs it's just it does something like it's just it's my favorite song from the album out of the woods is out of the woods never got a silly better i feel like out of the woods is better than revenge yeah out of the woods definitely giving better ooh, better than revenge because it's not the same tier as blank space all you have to do is stay oh my god this is my favorite album so I feel like these are all gonna be ranked pretty high. All you had to do was stay. Uh, I feel like, um, ah! All you had to do was stay. Where do I put you? Stop, this is actually really stressful. <laughs> 
Like, it's my favorite album, so it's so hard. I feel like I'll put you in better than Revenge. Shake It Off, I Left You at the Motel Bar. Like, I just, I know. It's one of those Taylor songs that I'm like, I can't. I wish you would. Ah! I feel like it's also better than Revenge. Yeah. Bad Blood, also Left You at the Motel Bar. These two are automatic skips. I feel like besides these two, the entire album is, like, super good. Wildest Dreams! I'll marry you with paper rings. Oh my god. If you're new here, I read a lot. And there's this one book that literally screams wildest dreams. Whenever I listen to the song, I think of that couple and that book. And it was already one of my favorite songs. And then, like, making that connection with that couple. For me, that was like, it's, that's everything. That's absolutely everything. How You Get the Girl. Oh, it's such a good song. Um, ah, I feel like How You Get the Girl will put you in Never Go Out of Style. I know it's not like a popular song, but I just love it so much. So we're putting it there. I know places. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> I feel like I'll put it in Sweet Nothing because it's not distinctive like the other songs, but it's still super good. But it's still, it's not at the level of Out of the Woods, All You Have to Do Is Say and I Wish You Would. Clean. This is a hard one. Where do I put clean? So you have to be in a very specific mood, but it's just, there's just, uh, there's something about it. I feel like I'll put you in sweet, oh, um, no, let's, I don't want no body, no crime. What are you doing here, no body, no crime? Clean. Clean, I feel like it goes in sweet nothing. Wonderland. Wonderland, I actually found out about it um, because of a book. And it really matched that book. But I feel like when I wasn't reading that book, there wasn't anything there with that song. Just because of that, I feel like I'll put it in. At least I'm trying. Because I feel like it gives me the same vibe as Welcome to New York. Okay, this love, I really like it. But I feel like it's, since it's so slow, it really depends on the mood. But it's such a good song. I feel like it's literally in between clean and all you have to do is in the middle. But I feel like since it, it's not at the point of better than revenge i'll put it in sweet nothing but i feel like it's i feel like i should have made another tier for in between sweet nothing and better than revenge because there's a couple of songs that i feel like just don't fit in either of these two categories it's right in the middle but then i really have to like pick you are in love oh my god the bridge of the song it just it does something to me like i don't think you understand the song it just does something to me it's not i'll marry you with paper rings because it wasn't an initial click for me it was more like over time so i'll put it in never go out of style but honestly think in like five years it's gonna become a i marry you with paper ring song honestly i never liked sluts like i know a lot of people love it but for me it was just like it's just it just i don't know it just it wasn't there for me honestly it's a skip i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry um say don't go i like the chorus but other parts i'm not a super big fan of because i think it's not at the same level of welcome to new york and wonderland so i feel like i'll put this in i forgot that you existed oh my god why is ivy here ivy please go away say don't go yeah this i feel like i like it and i forgot that you existed new romantics i feel like at least i'm trying it's the same vibe as that yeah it's like welcome to new york wonderland it's like it depends it's a very specific vibe and i feel like those three songs just like work together just fit now that we don't talk uh, so actually i kind of forgot that this song existed until literally today when i was in my car i just related to the lyrics i just had this whole different understanding for the song it was just a song for this moment and it just hit me it like stuck with me and i was like oh well that's fun <laughs> i just did something to me today so i feel like i'm putting it in sweet nothing if it wasn't for today, I feel like I would put it in at least I'm trying. Suburban Legends. I feel like, yeah, Suburban Legends, I feel like it also fits in Sweet Nothing. Like, it's just a very average good song. Not great, not bad, but just average song. Is it over now? Oh my god, where do I put you? I love it. But then also looking at the songs. No, you know what? Now that we don't talk, I'll put it with Better Than Revenge. Is it over now? I'm putting it in Never Go Out of Style. Yes. Yes, that I like. That makes sense. That makes me happy. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> so, okay. 1989. As you can see, there's a lot more focus, like, higher up. 
because again my favorite album besides those few songs favorite favorite taylor era this was when i stopped listening to taylor swift because i feel like 1989 for me was so good and then i was like what is this and i slowly got back into taylor swift i think it was when she was started re-releasing her albums that kind of got me back into it and that just like sold me on taylor swift but yeah there was a little point in time where it kind of like drifted away and it was because of this album because the first time i listened to it I didn't like the songs, but then I listened to it again. I forget, but it was really early when she started re-releasing things. I listened to Reputation, and I actually fell in love with it. I'm like, I don't know what I went through before that I was like, I'm not into this. I feel like it was just the first few songs I did not like, and then it like wrecked it for me. But okay, ready for it? For me, that's that's a, I left you at the motel bar. I feel like I base all of my opinion on this album on the song. Endgame it's not Left You at the Motel Bar, but if there was a tear between I Left You at the Motel Bar and I Forgot That You Existed, that's where I would put Endgame. Yeah, those two songs just did not feel like Taylor Swift, so I feel like that's what really, like, thing with me. I Did Something Bad, also Left You at the Motel Bar. Not a huge fan. Don't Blame Me, God Better. I don't know if I want to put it in Sweet Nothing, or at least I'm trying. I feel like Don't Blame Me, it really depends on my mood, so I'll put it in at least I'm trying delicate i feel like i would put it between better than revenge and sweet nothing but i feel like just for the first part of the song i will put it in better than revenge okay i'm sorry but look what you made me do it's i feel like yeah it was just like they were these songs that like ready for it i did something bad look what you made me do that i just really did not like and i based my entire opinion on this album um, well, of this album on these songs. I just realized that my camera cut out. So I think you guys just missed me saying that. So it goes. I'm, put, I'm, I'm leaving it at the motel bar. Gorgeous. It's like, I don't know if I want to put it in I Forgot That You Existed. But it's also, it's not the same as Ready For It. I did some... I feel like I'll put you in I Forgot That You Existed, but it's more so in the middle of Left You at the Motel Bar and I Forgot That You Existed. Getaway Car! Oh my god, Getaway Car, Never Go Out of Style. It's a, such a good song. Like, my friends who aren't Taylor fans love that song. So I feel like that says a lot. Oh my god, so, so good. Such a good song. King of my heart. Uh, I don't know where to put you. I feel like it's giving sweet nothing energy. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely sweet nothing i love how like this album is literally uh, the most all over the place album i feel like it shows why i kind of like drifted away from taylor swift at this point in my life then dancing with our hands tied i like it but the chorus it's not my favorite i feel like i'll put it in at least i'm trying because i do enjoy most of it it's just the chorus i'm not a huge fan of but it's still a good song for dress now dress is a little complicated sometimes i like it sometimes i really don't i don't know what to do with this one <laughs> i feel like most times i don't enjoy it versus when i enjoy it so I will put it in I forgot that you existed. This is why we can't have nice things. For me, that's honestly I left you. Oh my god, can we stop? I feel like call it what you want. I feel like I'll put you in I forgot that you existed. And then New Year's Day would go, oh, um, into left you at the motel bar. So as you can see, for a short album, there is a significant amount of songs in left you at the motel bar, and I forgot that you existed. Wow, let me clean this up a little bit because yikes, it's messy. Okay, entering the lover era. For me, honestly, I forgot that you existed. It's I left you at the motel bar. It's just it's not doing anything for me. Cruel summer. Oh, where do I put you? I feel like this is right in the middle of never go out of style and I'll marry you with paper rings. I mean, for the bridge, for the bridge, we're boosting it to I'll marry you with paper rings. There's just something about it. I It's not a marry you with paper rings completely because I cannot hit the notes and I don't sing to it when I'm with people because I know I can't hit the note and I'm embarrassed I can't hit the note, but I scream it when I'm alone. So yeah, I'll marry you with paper rings. Lover, it's not an everyday thing, but also the bridge is so good. I think sweet nothing uh ah i don't know no i think lover i'll put it in better than revenge listening to it now because i i did put my airpod back in listening to it now i feel like i like it more and better than revenge than sweet nothing for the man 
Ugh, the men. Like, it's just, it's, no, I just, I, I, it's not for me. We're putting you in. I left you at the motel bar. The archer, for me, I feel like, no, why do we have the torture poets department? Where did you even come from? The archer, I feel like I'll put it, um, <sighs> left you at the motel bar i feel like i'm more comfy now but i'm also scared that my pants make a noise but okay so i think he knows this is definitely i forgot that you existed miss americana and the heartbreak prince this one i'll put in sweet nothing because it's a feel-good song but in no way shape or form is it like a amazing taylor song it's just fun to listen to paper rings when it first came out, I was obsessed with paper rings, literally obsessed with paper rings. But now I feel like it cut the hype died down. Like I still enjoy it, but it didn't have like the hype that it had before for me. So I feel like I'll also put this in Sweet Nothing, but I feel like it's a little lower than Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince. Oh, do I want to put Miss Americana the Heartbreak Prince in Better Than Revenge? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I just noticed it's Better That's Revenge. That's so embarrassing. That's actually so embarrassing. I'm... I can't believe it took me how many hours of filming to realize. <laughs> Yikes. Oh my god, guys. I'm actually so sorry. That's so embarrassing. But yeah, Cornelia Street. Cornelia Street just holds a place in my heart. Like, when you find out that she wrote the song... I think someone told me she wrote this song about a friend. It's just, it's always done something to me. But then when that person told me that, I haven't confirmed it by the way, so I'm sorry if I'm wrong. But knowing that it's about a friend, it just hit me more. And I want to put it in I'll Marry You with Paper Rings. Because this song, again, it just hits a spot in my heart. It'll always have a spot in my heart. It's just beautiful. Death by a Thousand Cuts. I feel like I'll put that and I forgot that you existed. Like, it's not something that I would listen to. So I feel like it makes sense to go there. Um, London Boy. London Boy, I think it gives the same energy. Like, it's not an automatic skip. I would listen to it, but on very rare occasions. So I feel like I forgot that you existed. Does make sense. Soon you'll get better. This, I feel like it's the perfect song for at least I'm trying. Like, it's just... It's not good average Taylor. It's a little lower but it's just what you need sometimes so i feel like i'll put that over there also it's good so i at least i have a song from lover and like all of the categories false god where do you go i feel like false god might be the same energy as at least i'm trying yeah because it's definitely not i think he knows death by a thousand cuts and london boy yeah yeah okay at least i'm trying i like it here that makes sense you need to calm down. It's a fun song. Like, you wouldn't think it. It's it's a really fun song. So I feel like I'll put it in Sweet Nothing. Then for Afterglow. Afterglow, I... Uh, huh, what do I... Uh, this is hard. I feel like Afterglow would also go in Sweet Nothing. Or would it be... Uh, actually, no. You need to calm down. I'll put it in Better Than Revenge. Then, yeah, Afterglow, it gives me more Sweet Nothing energy yeah yeah that makes that that i like <laughs> that i like me i'm sorry but no like i just no no girl taylor taylor love you but what what was that nice to have a friend for me it'd be a left you at the motel bar like it's not on the same tier as me i feel like i feel like i left you at the motel bar is one thing then there should be a tear under that just for me. And that's how much me for me is like a big no-no. Daylight is a good song, but how good is it? I feel like Daylight for me would go in at least I'm trying. Because again, nothing like super distinctive, nothing like super wow. But it just makes sense to have it here. I feel like all of the girls you loved before, for me that's I left you at the motel bar. Like I just no it's just not for me folklore <laughs> folklore era number one two three four five six seven eight the eighth taylor swift era i feel like the one for me i don't know if it's at least i'm trying or i forgot that you existed i feel like okay no i feel like it's giving at least i'm trying yeah 
very solid at least i'm trying oh my god cardigan cardigan i'll marry you with paper eggs this is another one of the songs that my friends who aren't taylor fans absolutely love so definitely that speaks a lot and it's just it's just oh my god it's such a good song like it's literally one of the best songs ever like ever 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 the last good american dynasty it's giving sweet nothing like it's a good song i listen to it but there's nothing like super distinctive about it so putting in sweet nothing exile i feel like we haven't put a song better than revenge for a while and exile is the perfect song like it's not never go out of style but it's a very solid classic and it just goes with the same vibe of all the songs that are over there so fits perfectly and better than revenge my tears ricochet it's not an automatic skip but I do skip it pretty often because it's just so slow. It's just not like my vibe most of the time. So I'll put it in. I forgot that you existed. Then Mirror Ball. I feel like it's the same thing as My Tears Ricochet. Like it's not an automatic pass. But it's like a song to listen to when I'm studying, you know? With the other songs in that category, I feel like it does make sense. And it does belong there. For Seven. Again, I feel like it's the same vibe as the other two so putting it there august it's the bridge that i absolutely love but the rest of the song i'm very like neutral towards i know people love it for me it's like it's just there for me it feels like it goes in sweet nothing i know other people it'll be much higher but that's where it is for me the bridge might boost it up to better than revenge but it's just a very short part and it's not as significant as some other bridges so i feel like i want to keep it at sweet nothing Every time I exit the this page to go switch the song, it moves album covers around. So I'm so sorry for people noticing something a little bit different. It's just it's just doing the absolute most at this point. But Illicit Affairs, I feel like Illicit Affairs is, is a very solid sweet nothing. Like it's the same energy as the last American, uh, the last Great American Dynasty and August. Okay, Invisible String. I feel like it goes with the one, so I'll put it in at least I'm trying. Then Mad Woman, would it be the same vibe as those two songs? I feel like, yeah, Mad Woman does fit in the vibe with the rest of them. Then This Is Me Trying. This Is Me Trying, it gives me the same energy as My Tears Ricochet. It's like when I'm studying or when I'm reading a book, but I wouldn't like exactly listen to it like just like that if it comes on. So I kind of cleaned up... Um, the songs at the bottom so that's why it looks a little bit different epiphany for me it's just like yeah my tears ricochet and it's me trying is like kind of slow but it's just like not as slow those ones i enjoy this one not really for betty i'm really undecided between i forgot that you existed and left you in the motel bar again it's the same vibe as my tears ricochet mirabel seven this is me trying so we're putting you with these songs over there okay so peace peace also same vibe as the songs in i forgot that you existed then for hoax where do i want to put hoax hoax i'm putting it in i forgot that you existed because it does give the same energy as the songs that are there but the lakes also gives that energy, but with a little oomph. So the lakes, we're gonna boost it to at least I'm trying. And let's just like quickly go over the folklore songs. Yeah, this I like. Again, I don't know why it's taking me so much brain power to do this, but looking at this, I'm satisfied. I'm happy. I'm happy with this. Champagne Problems. Champagne Problems is a good song. It's not I'll Marry You with Paper Rings. I don't think any song from this album is that tier, but there's some very solid ones. And I feel like Champagne Problems is a very solid one. So I'll put this up in Never Go Out of Style. Gold Rush is exactly the same thing. I absolutely love Gold Rush. But it just it doesn't have that same thing as like Love Story, You Belong With Me, Style, Cruel Summer, Cardigan, Enchanted. It's just not there. But maybe in a couple of years it might get there. But currently right now it's just not that tear for me. Tis the damn season. Do I want to put it in sweet? Yeah, Tis the damn season. I feel like it's a solid sweet nothing song. I want to say Willow is the same thing. Like, I think they match together. They belong in sweet nothing. I love how the most average and the worst categories are the ones that are completely full with two lines. Next, we have Tolerate It. 
What's my logic with this one? I don't know if I want to put it in I forgot that you existed or at least I'm trying. I feel like it fits with the same vibe as My Tears Ricochet, Mirabelle 7, and all of those. So I'll put it in I forgot that you existed. So, okay. Happiness. I'll put you with tolerated and I, f and I forgot that you existed. Ivy, it's giving a little bit more than tolerated and happiness. So I'll put it in at least some trying. Then for no body, no crime. Is it better than revenge or never go out of style? I don't know. 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 I think I'll put it in never go out of style. Like I feel like it would be in the middle of better than revenge and never go out of style. But it's giving a little bit more never go out of style than better than revenge. So we'll put it in that category. Dorothea. Dorothea, it's giving me a tolerated happiness. So we'll leave it in, I forgot that you existed. I'm sorry, I'm constantly moving because I generally can't sit in one space for too long. Let's do the easy one. So long story short, I will put it up in sweet nothing. Marjorie, it's giving me better than revenge because it's a really sweet song. It's a good song. And I love that it's about her grandmother. Marjorie, I'll put you in better than revenge. Cowboy like me, okay, you're gonna go with Dorothea and happiness and tolerated and I forgot that you existed for closure I feel like closure it's the same vibe as those songs so again I forgot that you existed Coney Island I'll put it in I forgot that you existed evermore I just it sucks because it's like oh this is <laughs> again it's too small okay there evermore evermore it's giving me let me just make this a better size oh my god okay it doesn't let me make it smaller than 50 percent. i should have probably done this on my laptop so we're gonna have to like move the screen a little bit i'm so sorry um but yeah evermore it's gonna go and left you at the motel bar okay it's time to go i'll put it in i forgot that you existed then right where you left me is it sweet nothing or better than revenge i don't know right where you left me i think i'll put it in ah uh, i don't know sweet sweet nothing okay sweet nothing it goes in sweet no oh no not please no can we stop moving songs around right where you left me yeah sweet nothings so this is what it looks like for now i'm so sorry can i zoom out oh my god i can zoom out perfect okay this is what it's looking like right now yes are we happy we are happy we like this two more hours to go where do we want to put hits different hits different is not the first song on mayonnaise i don't know what it's doing here it's not sweet nothing i feel like it's between sweet nothing and at least i'm trying i genuinely like it i feel like it matches with the songs that are in at least i'm trying so we'll put it over there then lavender haze where are we putting you i feel like lavender haze is the perfect sweet nothing song it's just like it's just it's just it's just sweet nothing you know maroon oh this is hard i feel like maroon and anti-hero are both the same vibe so we'll leave them over there in Sweet Nothing. Snow on the Beach, I feel like it kind of started growing on me. It wasn't like a song that I liked, but again, grew on me. So I'll put it in I Forgot That You Existed. You're on your own kid. Oh my god. Like, I just, I, you relate to it so much. It used to make me cry, just get a super emotional. Now it's just like a, amazing, it's just, it's just, oh my god. It's literally one of the best songs ever. Like, I feel like everyone can relate to it i love the message of it because it's like you're on your own kid you always have been and you can take it as in i've always been alone like i'm always going to be alone and like i'm alone i don't have anyone but then on the other hand it's like you've always been alone like you've always not in a bad way but it's like instead of like looking at it in a bad way it's like you've been alone you always have been and like you've you've pulled through you've managed so it's like i'm like literally starting to feel emotional right now <laughs> i can feel the tears in my eyes but it's just such a beautiful message i'm literally tearing up i'm so sorry but it's literally one of my favorite songs it's so good wow i was not <laughs> expecting that yikes midnight rain midnight rain for me it's giving the same energy as snow on the beach it's not a bad song not what i gravitate towards if it comes on i'll listen but it's like just 
yeah i forgot that you existed question i really like question i feel like no one really likes it but question for me i'm gonna put it up in better than revenge vigilante shit i feel like it's a very solid at least i'm trying like it depends on my mood it's not a bad song it's so iconic but it's nothing like it's not the same as Lavender, Haze, Maroon, and Antihero, you know? Honestly, not a huge fan of Bejeweled, but also listen to it. So I feel like we're going to put it in I Forgot That You Exist. It, like, it's not Left You at the Motel Bar, but I feel like it would be between Left You at the Motel Bar and I Forgot That You Existed. Like, that's the classification in my head. I feel like Labyrinth would fit the same vibe. So I put it over there. Karma. Karma. Oh my god, Karma. We're never going out of style. I know a lot of people weren't a huge fan of it. Like, I think the first time I listened to Midnight, that was my favorite song. And I didn't get the hype on other songs. This was like, I was listening to it on repeat. I'm sorry, the Ice Spice version is horrible. I don't know what they were thinking. Ice Spice, like, she's, I'm so sorry. This kind of sounds so mean, but it's just like, she's out of place there. Um, But Normal Karma, literally one of the best things ever. Currently in my pajamas because I'm literally dying over here. It was so uncomfortable. Let's go. We are almost done. We're almost there. <laughs> we got this we're gonna power through sweet nothing honestly I, I i i don't like the song i think i'll put it into left you at the motel bar yeah left you at the motel bar for mastermind where are we doing mastermind i kind of want to put it in better than revenge but i'm also kind of feeling never go out of style i don't know i don't know i think mastermind we're gonna put it in never go out of style same with the great war i feel like i never heard anyone talk about the great war but it's so good like it's literally so good but i feel like it's very underappreciated and better than revenge you're gonna put paris paris also no one talks about paris but i absolutely love it high infidelity where do you go can i zoom out a little bit more yes <laughs> We're really trying here. Uh, I feel like it goes with hits different and vigilante shit. So I'll put it in at least I'm trying. Glitch, I, I I don't like glitch. I really don't like glitch. I'm sorry. Whenever it comes on, I skip it. I, I, I don't like glitch. I don't like glitch. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. There's like a build up throughout the song and I love that. But it's also not like my favorite song. So I don't know where to put it. I feel like it would go with high infidelity. Like I'm kind of getting the same vibe. So I'll put it in, at least I'm trying. I think, dear reader, we're gonna put it in, I forgot that you existed. Because there's nothing, like, again, significant about it. I feel like in these songs, there's nothing, like, super significant about it. They're just, like, there. They're not a skip, but they're just there. Bigger than the whole sky, don't really like. So left you at the motel bar you're losing me see i'm not sure where to put it because i feel like it's either left you at the motel bar or i forgot that you existed but i don't know where it fits in more i'm gonna say i forgot that you existed tortured poets department the last taylor era you don't know how excited i am it's literally past midnight <laughs> tortured poets department <laughs> let's go fortnite i feel like people don't really like fortnite but i really enjoy it is fortnite sweet nothing or better than revenge okay fortnite is gonna go in better than revenge the tortured poets department where do i want you to go i think also better than revenge i'm gonna go with the songs that i know automatically where i'm gonna put them and then we're gonna like go back to the rest. Okay, Florida for me, it's gonna be Left You at the Motel Bar. Not a huge fan. Um, Guilty as Sin, absolutely love this song. Like Guilty as Sin and The Alchemy are my favorite songs from the album. I I can listen to them over and over and over again. They're just so good. Like I'm just gonna put them in I'll Marry You with Paper Rings because it's like I can tell like the same feeling that I had with these two songs I had the first time I heard Cardigan or the first time I heard Style or Enchanted or Back to December. It's that same feeling. So I'm like, I know these are going to become like my all-time favorite Taylor Swift songs. So those automatically go over there. What else do I know? Absolutely for sure we're putting it. So High School. I really like So High School. It's good vibes. But wait, does it never go out of style or better than Revenge? I feel like I want to put it in, but is it higher up than Fortnite and Torture Post Apartment? No, oh, I feel like I'll put 
So high school in Better Than Revenge, I'll move Fortnite to Never Go Out of Style. Then I also really love I Can Eat With a Broken Heart. I feel like this is Never Go Out of Style. It gives me, oh, oh, no, no, you go here. Yes, it's giving me that type of energy. What else do I know for sure? But Daddy, I love him. I really like But Daddy, I love him. But it's not the same as Better Than Revenge. So I think I'll keep it in sweet nothing. Down bad, it's giving... I'm sorry, where did you go? Okay, down bad, it's giving the same. But, uh, or is it better than revenge? Okay, no. No, those I like there. So long, London. I'll put it in the same category. Yes. No. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just turn on the album so I can listen to it. Because I feel like I need to listen to it to be able to make good decisions. I think but daddy I love him I'll move it up to better than revenge and down bad uh down bad I think it belongs there in sweet nothings. So long London. So long London I'll leave it here for now then we'll see what we do. Then my boy only breaks his favorite toys. I feel like that's the same vibe so I'm gonna put it in sweet nothing. Who's afraid of little old me? I feel like this is a very solid at least I'm trying. Like it's not bad but it's not wow. It's just like neutral. I can fix him. No really I can. Would be the same category as who's afraid of little old me. Like it's giving the same vibe so I'll put it also in at least I'm trying. And then fresh out the slammer. I feel like is it sweet nothing or better than revenge? I don't know. This is so hard. The problem is that the Tortured Post Apartment is such a new album. Like it's been out for a month and a half that I feel like I didn't have time to properly think about it. I feel like it fits the same vibe as Down Bad, So Long London, and My Bornly Breaks His Favorite Toys. So we'll leave it over there for now in Sweet Nothing. Love of My Life. Or Lost of My Life. I think it's Love of My Life. I really like it. Uh, I don't know if it's Sweet Nothing or at least I'm trying. Okay, no. We'll put... Huh. I'll put The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived and at least i'm trying because that one is giving the same energy as i can fix him no really i can and who's afraid of little old me so that's an easy thing i feel like love of my life would fit in that also like having listened to it right now it's definitely more sweet nothing than at least i'm trying i think thank you amy i can place it i actually really like that song but i feel like i feel like it would be in at least i'm trying I feel like Clara Bow also fits in that category. Like, honestly, this album, I can only really give a justification. It's just based off vibes. But I feel like this makes sense in my head. I feel like I'm gonna get you back. Is gonna go in at least I'm trying. I'll put the black dog, Chloe or Sam or Sophia or Marcus, and the albatross. And I forgot that you existed. I feel like how did it end? would also go when I forgot that you existed. I hate it here. Okay, that is definitely giving sweet nothing energy. So that goes there. I look in people's windows. I feel like I'm gonna put it in I forgot that you existed because it's not my favorite song on the album. It's not what I gravitate towards. It's just there. So Cassandra, I actually really like. I feel like I'll put it in sweet nothing. The prophecy. Prophecy, I'm feeling at least I'm trying, but I do feel like it could get higher the more I listen to the album and the more that it like marinates <laughs> in my brain. Okay, Peter and the Bolter. It's giving, I forgot that you existed. I feel like the Bolter, this is where I want to keep it. Peter has potential. Like, how did it end? Those two, I feel like, do have potential to go up. Last two songs, The Manuscript and Robin. Where are we putting you two? <laughs> I think I'll put Robin also when I forgot that you existed. Honestly, The Manuscript also. Yes, let me just go over all of these to see if I like this. Okay, I like this. This is the final ranking. Yes. <laughs> I think it's like 130 songs. I don't know how long it took me. <laughs> It was three outfit changes. I only kept my makeup on because I was like, just power through and finish this video tonight. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a long one. I don't know how long I've been filming for, but this 
this video was definitely not gonna be under an hour so if you're here until the end comment what emojis should you comment just comment like one funky emoji so i know you watched until the end i don't even know what to say anymore because i'm so brain dead <laughs> um all my socials are linked down below if you want to go check me out and don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and i definitely be down to it for other artists i feel like most artists didn't release as much music as taylor swift so i don't think it's gonna be like this intense but i'm definitely down to do this for other artists so yeah let me know if that's interesting like comment down below which artists you'd like to see i have a few tier ranking ideas for the future because i was like if this goes well we'll see what we do so i do have a few ideas but yeah for artists like let me know what you want to see um so yeah thumbs up subscribe down below if you <laughs> if you enjoyed this um i think i'll also leave the link to this so you guys can like test it out for yourselves so if you want to waste three to five hours of your time definitely <laughs> go check this out but yeah that's gonna be all for me for today so stay safe protect your vibe and i'll see you all next time bye guys